welcome back to BMW Fanatic. In this full DIY video, I'm gonna show you how you're gonna take your 2006 to 2008 BMW 3 Series that comes with the CCC navigation, and we're gonna do a step-by-step -step video on how to upgrade to the CIC retrofit. Now, this is a great upgrade compared to the old system. You get a lot more functionality with this upgraded navigation unit, and everything that you see will be installed in this video. And that also does include coding, so I will show you that process as well. Now, when I wanted to source a CIC retrofit kit, there are many options out there. So I landed on a guy named Nickco43 on E90 Post. Nick's kits do not need an emulator on the back to run. He also patches the FSC codes, which is your BMW apps and BMW satellite radio. He offers a warranty and of course tech support. He definitely had me sold on all those because he offers a OEM like install. So when you're doing a DIY, especially like with wiring and you know navigation units, you wanna have the best put together kit possible. And I'm glad I went with Nick because of that. I did reach out to a bunch of people that have bought kits from Nick and they had nothing but great things to say on how well it was put together and his support and his communication. So of course that's a big win in my book and I'm happy I went with Nick's CSE retrofit kit. It's definitely a nice upgrade compared to the old CCC navigation that I have in my car. So they started CIC here in 2009, so I just missed it being mine in 2008. Uh, so they had CIC for a little bit and then they later moved to NBT. So all in all, it's a nice upgrade to do it and I'm happy to share with you guys the step-by-step -step process on how to do so. So let's go ahead and let's get this started. First things first, uh, we're gonna go ahead and pop this trim out just a little bit. So that way we can get the controls out of the way and then later do the trim. I'm using a trim removal kit here. Very nice, I've used it on previous stuff that I've done a while back. But the trim removal tools are good because you don't mess up your trim. kind of keep popping at it here you start to feel it come out once you have that out a little bit you're going to take your trim tool and we're going to get underneath here you'll see your controls kind of wiggle out there you go once you get that, you'll be able to pop it off this lip. There's a little lip right here, so that's why you have to just loosen this a little bit and get on up there. You'll see all the connectors here. So you're gonna push down right here. They'll slide out, it's a little slider. And then pops out. Do it for the other side right here. Push down on the tab on the top, and then pull back it out like that you're gonna need to now remove your climate controls so you just need to push in the two clips right here it's like two clips on each side once you push it in they'll pop out and you can remove your climate controls from your dash take your trim tool and you're gonna need to remove the trim that's around the CCC unit want to pull on it gently so there's clips along the side here you feel that one pop out and that one will pop out there's just the two pins right here as you can see plenty of extra wiring so you can just go ahead and move that out of the way. I'm not even gonna to try to even mess with trying to take it off uh, for the heated seats. Now we're gonna remove the four total Phillips screws, two on one side, two on the other side. This is what holds the unit in. Okay, that done, 
to give us room to be able to pull it all the way out. I'm gonna have to put the car into drive and then just turn the car off. Not fully starting it. All right, slowly pull it out. Pull it on out. You have a little bit of slack, but not a lot. You wanna just go ahead and start disconnecting everything right on the back. Start pulling everything apart, really, that attaches to the unit. Your, of course, navigation is going to start going off on the screen because you're pulling. Uh, that was just the screen that I pulled off. Gives you even a little bit more slack. So you can go ahead and do this. To do the slider, you're going to pinch up right here together. And then push the slider down. And once it's pushed down, you can disconnect it and remove your entire CCC unit. This is what the entire unit removed. These are all the connectors that were on the CCC unit. Uh, and these top ones were for your climate controls. And of course, I just have the heated seat off to the side because I don't no need to try to worry to take that off. Just put it out of the side. It's plenty of room to get everything in and out and put it back together. And that's what it looks like there. Uh, since I did put it in drive to be able to get the entire unit out, go ahead and put it back to park. And you can go to turn the car off and take the key out. To remove the screen at the top, it's going to be a T10 Torx. I'm gonna put it down in my tray since I'm keeping that in there. And once you remove those two T10s, go take your trim tool, pull down, and then pull out. Now there's clips on the back that hold the wires attached to the screen. Just go ahead and move, take those out. And there's clips at the bottom here. So right down on the front, there's clips there. So you want to lift up and then lift out. Force this to disconnect. It's gonna be right over here on this side. Pull out just a straight out no pins no nothing simple and then here I'm gonna push down the top and then pull back the slider once you pull back the slider push it out disconnect it from the thing and then your screen is out all right so what we need to do next is that since the CID is different on the CIC uh, we need to remove this from the slider and repin these wires to a new connector pin that will later go into the new CID screen display. So you have to remove the slider from the connector here. There's a little point right here where you would just take a flathead screwdriver. I've been using a pick uh, to push down on it so that way you can remove the connector pin from this slider. All right, keep working it with your flathead, pushing right here on this point. And then once you get it just right, you'll feel it kind of snap out. And then you can go ahead and pull the slider off. This is where we need to take the pins out and push these wires on out. This is what it currently looks like. So I'll, I'll grab the new connector and then we'll look on Nick's sheet on how all the new connector needs to be repinned. Next, start popping out all these wires this connector uh, so I'm just taking my pick tool here I'm 
It'll slide on out just like that. Do the same process with each one. Out. Head to the next one. The thing is, is that you have to pull at the same time as that you're pushing down. Kind of some of the reasons why I've, I just have my work gloves on for this install just because the wires are small and I need to be able to pinch them good and get good grip. that one and then it's all out Nick includes all genuine BMW parts so all the stuff in his kit is all that which makes it nice so we're opening up the new connector pin here for the CSC CID just for your screen it's obviously not the same connector, that's why you have to repin it, but this is the only thing that you have to really do that's outside of everything else. Here we have it. So here's Nick's instructions of how we need to do the wiring based on the colors here. So our red and orange, that's this one. Red and orange needs to be the very first one. So it's going to be like this. First one in. Red and orange. And then brown is going to be number three. So we're going to find our brown one. And it's going to be the third spot. From left to right. Third spot, the orange and green. Orange and green. Skip another one. It's gonna be the fifth one. So orange and green right here. Ravel these here. Orange and green. I'm gonna skip another one. It's gonna be number five. And then we have solid green, which is gonna be right next to that one. There we go. New CID already repinned. Hey, with that done and out of the way, now we have our new connector here it's gonna go with that all right now we need to run our pink display on up through and connect the two here now this side will go up uh, that has the tape on it right here and the little shortcut path remind you a lot of this is very tight squeeze of everything this small little path is right here Just use your flashlight. Use your flashlight so that way you can see where the light's shining through. So I'm shining in right here on this corner. You'll see this little kind of drop down right in here. And you'll see the light kind of shine up this way and that's the angle that you need to go up. So that way you can connect it. see it on pop on through go pulling on out say right here give give you enough slack uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this back through up here and then back down so basically just moves the placement of it so I don't go over this little plastic cage thing here 
Now, since I'm not removing the old CCC paint cable, I'm going to just kind of stuff it back down in here, get it out of my way. Not, you don't have to worry about it. If you want to take it out, you can take it out, but I'm not worried about it. No need for it. So I'm just stuffing it nice and neat right back there. Now that we got that ready and good, we'll keep all this out like this. Give me enough slack. Uh, we'll go ahead and connect the CID for the CIC screen. So we're gonna take your CID right here. So you're gonna see them right there. your pink cable that you ran through it's going to come at an angle push down on the tab so that way it goes all the way in then once you have all that connected you're going to want to that's why you need a little bit of extra slack here We're gonna now put this back down in here. There's clips right on the front. You just need to push those all the way in and then have it just like that. Now we're gonna put back in our T10s. Definitely really tiny screws. You have two of those. Go ahead and tighten all the way. All right, so next we need to run the USB uh, that will connect to the CIC down through over here. So we're gonna remove this under panel down there. That's gonna be a T20. And then we'll need to fish that through. So we'll need to do that next before we put the new CIC back in. But once we get that going, then it's gonna be quick and easy and we'll be uh, off to coding. All right, so next we need to remove this under tray area right here which is gonna be a T20. So take your T20 right here. Uh, we're gonna then open the next part in the package, uh, which is the USB here, which we'll need. After you unwrap it, you'll have it like this. Next, we're gonna open up our uh, cable that will run from the USB all the way through and connect to the CIC. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen these T20s. that side and I jump to the other side you can see it come down so with that removed it gives us some space to go ahead and put it through that side and it needs to come back out through here now I am opening up the little access bay here with the access bay removed, we can get to a little bit more things here so that way we can fish it on up. Now take it up through this way. There's a little opening right here. There's the opening pass that I went through. See, you can see down, that's right where I took it through. And then that's, of course, plugs to the CIC. Now 
all snaking on up through the blower motor. Right to the glove box. Just like that. Plug both in. Play snap. Give you enough slack over here. So you might need to pull it a little bit. So we'll just keep it right back in there. It's not gonna go anywhere. It'll just be quick access. So we'll just add our plate back in. So whenever we need to do any kind of updates, we can easily get to it. Make sure all that's good. And we'll now put our T20s back in. Take your T20 and tighten. T20 again. Now, once you have everything ready to go, here's our USB that we put in. Here's our new screen display that we fished down. Uh, make sure all the connectors are pulled out because you're gonna now connect everything to the unit. And we'll go and get that now. So if you did the process that I did as far as just moving the gear shifter back and forth, you don't have to remove it. I mean, you can if you want to. So we're gonna take our new CIC and start connecting everything back on. We'll leave this for last. Uh, so this is uh, your connector right here. Get that connected. Take your display that we ran in there. Go ahead and connect that. Now the, the CIC doesn't does not have a fan, so we won't have a fan. First and foremost, go ahead and cover your trim here uh, with microfiber, just because you're you're setting your navigation unit down on there. Don't want to scratch up the trim that you have. You take your slider like this, where you have the blue at the top going in. Push it in, push to close, make sure it snaps. Once it snaps, you're... take your blue plug, the blue connector, and then there's nothing that's gonna be for here. This is for your BMW SAT. Uh, so I am not running this. I wanna say mine's already built in the trunk, uh, but it's something that you can add if you want to. The cable's inexpensive. But uh, you won't have anything for this if you have the, basically the same setup as me. Now we'll do our black plug. And you'll hear it power on. And make sure everything is plugged in nice and tight here. Everything looks great. Now we're just going to fish it on back down through here. Go ahead and put your car back in park if that's what you did. All right, now once we have the CIC slid into place, we're gonna attach the four Phillips screws, two on this side and two on the other side, just like that. Okay, 
And once you have that done, you can go ahead and put your trim back on, which this is going to be your bottom trim, and also if you have the heated seats. I'm going to move these out of the way because we need to put our climate control back on. There's two pins in here where you're going to line everything up at. Just like that. Reattach us so you hear below. Reattach the slider. But you're going to push in like that, and then you're going to push down and pull the slider back at the same time. Make sure this one. Push down at the same time by pulling back. Make sure it's all connected good there. Now remember this has a little lip at the top. So you wanna have enough room to be able to slide it underneath. You get it lined up straight and start sliding this lip underneath the trim. And then you'll feel it snap in like so. Once you have that done, it's a matter of pushing this trim back down again. And it'll just go right into place. All right, there we go. Now off to coating. To get you all set up to do the remote coating, if you have the JB4, you need to go ahead and put it in map zero. So that's your volume down and channel button down. You'll see the amber and red there, that'll indicate what map you're in. Go ahead and switch it to map zero. Once you do so, you need a KDKN cable, so that way you can connect it to a Windows laptop. Nick will install all the tools that you need as far as programming goes and take it over from there. Once that's in, go ahead and turn your car back on again. Just with the accessory. Make sure that you're on a trickle charger for sure, uh, or you can just go ahead and start the vehicle and just let it run. All right, so Nick installed the BMW tools that he needed. Uh, the stuff that I had previously was already outdated uh, for what he needs. So of course, all that is included with Nick. Now we're gonna go to NCS Expert. So that way you can do the proper CIC retrofit coating. And just like I mentioned, letting the car run, uh, just because my voltage was a little lower than normal on a trickle charger. So we want to make sure that we have the proper volts uh, to do so. I see, execute, coding active. Now I'm doing the CID, execute job so I can do the coding. So what Nick's doing now is taking off the iDrive message uh, which tells you like, you know, hey, read this before you proceed. It's just taking off the um, disclaimer message, so that way it just bypasses it and goes right to the map. This is in the FSC tools.
All right, guys, coating is complete. So of course, since I had it on map zero, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the OBD2 port. And I need to get back to the map I was on. So that's map one, C0, map one. Once we're on map one, volume down to exit out. Once we're exit out, see JB4 kicking on. Of course, power off the car. This is what it's all about. Well guys, that does it for today. A full step-by-step -step DIY on how to upgrade your CCC navigation that came on the 2006 to 2008 BMW 3 Series and upgrade it to a CIC retrofit navigation kit. Now as what you saw, this was a pretty simple install. So Nickco43 on E90 Post is who I went through to get this kit. He offers an OEM-like install, no emulator, your VIN's already patched on there, FSC codes are already on there too, it makes it that much easier if you want to upgrade later down the road uh, just based on everything that he did. His kits are $650 and only available in the United States. I'm going to plug his email down in the description box below and all the tools that I used for this install as well. Guys, it's a great upgrade and it looks so much better as what you saw versus the old system. I can actually watch movies in my car uh, and everything. So. All that's roped into that one price that Nick offers, which includes coding as well. And also the support if you have questions during your install. So I've been wanting to do this upgrade for probably about three or three plus years now, but no one had a kit like what Nick offers. And so I'm happy that I landed on him and he provided so much great communication back and forth and all the questions that I had like on the spot. And I appreciate Nick doing so. So you definitely need that, especially when little hiccups might come up. And they're very simple things that may come up. The biggest thing is, is just take your time and it is definitely a simple install for you. Well, that does it for me today. Time to continue to enjoy my CIC retrofit navigation. Guys, big thumbs up on this DIY video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out my other DIYs that I have on the channel, other great informational videos for this platform. Thanks and hope you have a great day.